and welcome to Lori Farm. Today I am in the new build greenhouse, which is looking really good. It's coming along nicely. We're still working on some planter boxes getting put in in the back here, but um, Shane's been working on that all day and it's looking really good. But I am going to get going on some weeding because it's kind of gotten a little bit out of control lately. Not like super bad because these um, raised bed ones are not much to weed, but if you don't keep up on it, it will overtake fairly quickly. So I'm just gonna go through here and pick out all the stuff that doesn't need to be in here. I'm gonna be doing some watering in here and possibly a little bit of weeding because as I look at everything, it looks like the weeds kind of took over a little bit. So I'm gonna go through and kind of pull a few of them out before that becomes a problem. And I'm going to be working on the strawberries, um, getting them planted up in the new planter boxes. So first I got to start with filling them with dirt. I did cheat a little bit and I bought a couple of plants that are already started growing because it's kind of nice just to have something to pick right away. And then um, I do have some seeds. You probably can't see them in the video, but I do have some seeds we're going to plant too. So these are going to take a lot longer. And these are ever bearing. So they'll... Um, produce more than just once a summer and then hopefully come back every single year and it'll be one of those things I don't have to replant all the time. So I am really excited though because we have all these wonderful peppers coming through. If you come look here, they're popping up really quickly. I think this is the soonest that we have ever gotten peppers to start growing and become sizable. So I'm really excited about them. They're kind of cute when they're so little too. And they are just sprouting all over, even my little jalapenos here. Popping up nicely. And so many flowers. And like I mentioned earlier, strawberries are a good thing to grow because they are one of the dirty dozen type foods that if you buy it at the grocery store, there's a good chance you're going to have heavy metals in it, which if you know anything about that sort of stuff, isn't good for your body and it's hard to get rid of. So it's nice to always grow your own, know what's in the soil and how everything's getting taken care of. That's one of the really great things that we're lucky about where we are is our soil is really mineral rich. And you can tell that by the amount of like worms and things you have in it. Okay, so I think I finally got it filled up. And yes, I'm out of shape and winded. Doesn't help that it's like a thousand degrees in here. So I kind of just went through there and um, spot weeded a little bit of the stuff. I do need to go through here and probably weed whip though because I got weeds growing on the outside of the planter boxes also, which wouldn't really bother me, but there's a stinging nettle plant over there. So that's always fun to step on. I'm going to be weeding up here in the cucumbers. Hopefully not break my neck on my nifty little stool I got going on here. Um, these are coming up really nice. I'm super excited to see how they kind of intertwine and vine out. I think that's going to be really, really fantastic and really, really pretty. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot of weeds up here either. But I can't believe how well these have taken off. The foliage on these is just for only planting them a few weeks ago has really come through and it's looking really good. But I probably should invest in something other than that bucket or stool. So that's how gardening in the raised bed uh, new greenhouse is for now. We are adding a ton more that Shane's been working on all day and he'll continue to work on. So I'm really excited to get that all planted and in there and figure out what I'm all going to put in there. I think I'm going to go with fruit stuff unless you guys have better ideas. And if you do, please leave a comment because I am very open to them. We're going to have a ton more space. So we are going to be able to just fill this really, really soon. So leave a comment. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you soon.